purpose of the press conference is to deal specifically with the, a national issue, and that is the Amelia Falls project. We are extremely disappointed that a national project of that mag magnitude did not go forward. I'm not going to get into the blame game. I don't think that's appropriate at this time. But we consider, as we have published in the press, we've issued statements over the last week, two weeks, and many months before, that the project is absolutely essential to meet Ghana's energy requirements. It's absolutely essential for business to be competitive. It is absolutely essential for electricity to become affordable. And it is absolutely essential if we are to avoid the government either having to increase electrical rate subsidies or impose drastic tariff increases. Now, as you're aware, the electricity system, the Georgetown, well, Ghana as a whole, is heavily subsidized at the moment. And um, when you do the numbers, you'll see the conversion of electricity per, per liter of fuel, uh, just how much that subsidy goes. We cannot continue, obviously, that that direction because it's moving money from infrastructural projects into something else and also creates an artificial uh, lifestyle so the we need a reduction in electricity cost and the Amelia Falls project offered that a key requirement of the IDB in order to complete the funding package is the amendment to the Hydroelectric Act. Essentially, what they required was a conservation area which would have permitted wildlife which may be affected by the existing falls, or by the Amelia Falls, to continue their lifestyle uninter uninterrupted. And this is typical, a typical requirement of all major projects of this nature. There was also a requirement for an increase in the debt guarantees. Now these are essentially, uh, some of you may be aware of the type of guarantee, it's similar to a parent company guarantee. When a company, a subsidiary company goes and obtains a loan and it's only enforceable if that subsidiary company cannot pay their loan. It is a guarantee against... Uh, and it also ensures that GPL covers their costs. The damaging consequence of failure to conclude the Amelia project would be irretrievable for years to come. The cost of electricity would escalate to unaffordable levels. The cost of expanding generation to meet demand would become prohibitive, and the cost of mounting another hydroelectric project would be priced out of reach. Inflation rates are such that this project in itself, if it goes over to next year, would probably go up by another 30 million US. So time is of the essence, it's critical. And we were given a timeline, the country was given a deadline to agree these issues before the end of October, before the end of July in order for it to go to the October board. Companies or banks like the ID, in, in, um, IDB, a lot of their documents have to be translated into Spanish, Portuguese and so on because there are other so that the directors of the bank can read them in their own language, and all of that takes time. So you need a lead time of at least two to three months before it goes to the board. Uh, we also go on to state that 
We are prepared to work with the government and the opposition in any way possible to try and conclude this issue because it's a national issue. It's not an issue of party politics. It must not become an issue of party politics. It must be retained as a national issue because it impacts on the lives of our, ourselves and our children and our children's children. What I found very interesting over the last couple of days um, was a decision by the World Bank to close the door on funding power generation schemes such as coal generated electricity. And I would recommend that um, the media read some of the recent World Bank reports on this. Now, one of the reasons why the bank has closed its door, other than in very special instances, is the danger of pollution, the huge risk of pollution with coal-fired power generation systems. And you may be aware that that suggestion was made by someone six months ago, that it was a cheaper option for Ghana. It's not. It's not going to be fundable. It's very, very important that we use our own resources, which is water, we have plenty of water. We use our resources, water, sunlight, to provide our energy sources. Okay. May we have your questions, please? 